had a meeting uh, with some interested parties on how to save this journal, Malay Nature Journal. Uh, if you notice, uh, it is getting thinner and thinner and thinner, just like uh, you know the Richard Parker in Life of Pi, uh, getting thinner and thinner without food and what happened, I think Richard Parker will die in Mexico. This journal has no ISI, has no scopper, has nothing. So young people like Nabila are shying away from this journal because uh, the, the young people need the, the so-called idiotic, silly ISI and IF, all those in these indices. So this journal is dying. So last Saturday we met on how to save it. So we are going to save it, you know, by making it alive. Apparently this is one of the oldest journals in our country. Volume 67 is due for December last year, but has no article. So people like me who don't need this stupid ISI, IF, will try to save, uh, save, uh, save this journal, right? So it is thinner and thinner. Malnutrition, <laughs> no food to eat. All right. Uh, and now you also to read this beautiful natural list. There is a good article on plant symbolism. There are so many symbols all around us, especially in Baltic, in crafts, everything about plants. So you will enjoy looking at this, and there are so many issues here, and I like the, the cup, the, the, the center, make it a different. Uh -huh. And lastly, before I move on, some of you may remember, Chidaman only remember, you people are young people, you don't remember. Many years ago, I started this newsletter. I did it myself with the help of Arwah Kamaruddin and others. And we come out quite regularly telling all of us about what is happening in plant systematic and biodiversity in our country. It featured, of course, I said, uh, from my editorial note from the moldy desk of mine. And if you go there, you see some review of the recent scientific papers, journal uh, and all kinds of notes on our research activities. It tells you about the graduate students in our area, scientific meeting, conference, staff news, and normally it put a very short article. The last short article was by Shukru <coughs> uh, Nizam and Jamila. And and there was also an article by uh, Juan Juliana. So I thought of reviving also this newsletter. And I've been seeing Arobe Nabila are so good with the computer. Very easy, you know. All you got to do, you receive stupid notes from us and you put in this format, eh? you know. And then we print at my expense. The idea is to disseminate. The last one was maybe 10 years ago. All right, this morning, without much further ado, we are very lucky, honestly, by forcing, <laughs> by forcing Dr. Lee Get Yi to tell us what she had done uh, for her PhD. And I must say, if particularly me and also Chidaman are so happy to know that this is uh, our product, our first product, our pulung pulung, julung julung, to have one <coughs> pathologist in Malaysia, somebody who studies liverworts. Now we have got, as I said in my discussion, we've got at least about four or five people in Moses. We have one here at Chidama. Uh, we have one in UM, Dr. Yong student of Chidama. We have one Prof. Haji Muhammad in Brunei, teacher of Chidama. Uh, we have another one in Monica Sulaiman in Sabah. So 
we have four muscologists, people who study Moses. Of course, there are others who contribute here and here and there. Welcome, welcome. Here, nearer, nearer, nearer. Ah, no, Vidaya. The studio, whom I have lost to Prof. Vicky. <laughs> and of course, I was teaching uh, Dr. Lee Gate Yi that we haven't got anybody to study pond work, but then she said there are only a few species of pond work. So, I don't know what is the term for people who study pond work, as opposed to muscology, hepatology. I don't know. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, Honwatologist. <laughs> so, uh, after she finished uh, her PhD, whose thesis is just as one of the excellent products in UK, uh, but Lee Ge Yi decided to stay with us. Again, we forced her <laughs> as our fourth dog. You know. And her job is to carry on studying liver works and produce papers. So we are very happy to, to welcome uh, Dr. Lee Gek Yi uh, to tell us a very, on a very interesting undertaking, I call it, the revision of a genus Junia, uh, which is, she will tell you more, which is a dustbin, more or less, in, uh, uh, in hepatology, just like polyaltria as a genus, it's a dustbin in Indonesia. A anything that you cannot fit other genera will go into polyarthria, things like that. But lately, all the molecular biologists did some silly thing and raised the section munun in polyarthria as a genus. Because I, I remember when Arwa was around, we gave two students to do one section each of polyarthria. Of course, we saw the differences in Munun, but now Munun has been raised to a genus, making polyarthria in a sixth and more refined. But, these people who study chromosome reduce the genus Anicosantum, the genus Vodieranta, into Munun. <laughs> so, things like that. So, over to you. 